So, now that we've got our ski set up, it's time to set up the fin. So, the settings I'm going to shoot for today for this ski are going to be uh, 2.510, 6.840, and with the slot, I use a slot caliper. With a slot caliper, I'm going to use like 767, 768, somewhere in that range. And uh, so that's what I'm shooting for. I've actually used this fin blade on a different strata, so I should be actually relatively close. Um, gonna need a 532nd Allen. Uh, I use a wooden tool, this thing, wooden dowel. This thing basically is my fin whacker. Uh, so when I need to adjust the fin and push it back up, back in the ski, or uh, push the length out of the fin, I can hit the fin. By having the wood be a softer material than the fin, I know that my wood's gonna give, not my fin blade, so that I don't dent, chip, uh, scratch, or whatever my fin. So uh, I use a eight inch Minotoyo caliper. Uh, it's got the gold rim on it. I love this caliper. It's uh, it's not it's not digital, but uh, I know it's always gonna work. So I like that. And then for my distance from the tail measurement, I use the slot caliper. This thing's awesome. Uh, makes checking your distance from the tail a lot more predictable. And uh, so essentially it's a no-brainer. Got to go with it. So first thing I'm going to do, fin's tight, everything's tight. I'm going to just check my measurements. Um, because this is, has been used on a different fin blade, uh, I know that I'm going to be pretty close. So, um, I'm a little bit shallower than I want to be. I'm a little bit uh, longer than I want to be. And I'm a touch bit further forward than I want to be. So, I'm basically going to rough this in. Um, give my fin a little whack. So the first measurement that I go for is distance from the tail. Once I have this measurement, I'm going to anchor the fin in by always keeping another uh, one of my tightening screws tight. So right now I'm at uh, 765. I want to be at 767. Um, you know, you wouldn't think a couple thousandths makes a difference, but you know, I want to uh, want to make sure you take the you, know, you want to make sure you take the time to get it right. You know, don't call it close. Just you know, if things aren't going your way, take a break, come back. I am at 767. I'm going to check my depth. So, I'm actually really close right now. Uh, I'm a little bit deeper than I want to be. So, I'm just using the, uh, the top insert, uh, insert screws. They basically just help me to keep my fin where it needs to be. So, uh, it makes it you know, it makes changing your fin settings a little easier. So, uh, I'm 1,000 short of where I want to be, so I'm just going to turn that a little bit. So, my depth's where I want. I'm going to go back, check my distance from the tail. And 767.5. Uh, so, I am right on where I want to be. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually tighten this rear. Allen screw. I'm actually going to tighten them all just so I can see where my fin's at. This is a crucial thing. Basically what you're doing when you have all your Allen's, uh, all, when you have your fin clamp loose, you want to just get it really close. Then as you know that you're within a thousandth or two in all your measurements, go ahead and tighten the thing down and recheck all of your settings. Uh, usually when you tighten, you know, tighten your clamp down, you, you'll, you'll change a little bit. So you know, right now, I'm, now I'm at 2.508, so I need to gain 2,000 depth. Um, I am at 6.835, so I need to gain 5,000 length. And I might as well just go ahead and check this distance from the tail measurement. And uh, I'm at 7.68. I'm happy with that distance from the tail. So I'm just going to go ahead and loosen the back two. Uh, tightening screws and use this tail insert screw and just check until I get 2.510.
which I'm at right now. So now I'm going to go ahead, tighten this back Allen. If you always keep one of your screws tight, then you can basically keep your distance from the tail from moving around. This is a very useful tip. So, you know, once you've honed in, you want to, the first thing you do, hone in that distance from the tail. Once you're really close on that, um, I would probably tighten down your front tightening screw, the length measurement screw. I would tighten that one down. Uh, then I would leave the back two loose. Check your, check your depth. Get your depth real close. Go ahead and tighten the whole block and check your settings. If your distance from the tail and your depth are good, then you're gonna, from there on out, you're just going to leave this back tightening screw tight. Then you'll go ahead and loosen the front two, like I'm doing right now. And we're going to check length. I was 5,000 short on length. I'm just going to kind of check where I am, make sure I'm still about 5,000 short. So I'm going to screw in this front insert. Check it out again. I'm within a thousandth. Just do a touch more. Now I'm going to tighten it down. Again, like before, you know, when you tighten a fin clamp, you're bound to change this measurement a little bit. So, I mean, if we hit this, great. If not, don't be surprised. Well, I hit it. Uh, so 6840 depth. Now I'm going to go back. Uh, 6840 length. I'm going to go back and check. Um, 2.510 in depth. And I'm going to go to my slot caliper. And I am 0.7675. So I am spot on on this. Uh, it's just, I always try to remember if I'm doing fin adjusting, just go back one more time. And just make sure your fin's tight. It's not very fun to go and ski when the fin is loose. Some dangerous stuff can happen. Uh, so I'm tight. I know I'm good to go. Uh, Next thing you do is put a wing on it. So let me grab some wing screws. You know, setting up a ski takes patience. You know, I do this a lot. So it's probably going to happen a little bit faster for me than it will for you. Um, you know, if you get frustrated, walk away, come back. I actually enjoy this. Some skis, it can take me five minutes to set a ski up. And some skis, it might take an hour, you know. People are like, oh, you, you, know, you do this all the time. This must just happen so easy for you. Not really. So uh, I basically t put, my, put my wing together. Um, I like my wing in the most far down position, uh, it's just something I've always liked. Uh, you need angle gauges for sure. So I like to use two angle gauges. I use one on the bottom side, one on the top side. Uh, this helps to make sure that both, when I, tighten the, when I tighten the wing, that one side of the wing doesn't push up and actually run a different angle. You'd be surprised if that's actually relatively common. Um, so I always have two wing angle gauges per angle in my bag. I don't tend to uh, run much different than eight or nine degrees, so I just have those two in my, in my bag. So that is it. We now have a ski that is ready to go out and hit the water. Um, hopefully this can help you guys out when you're setting up your ski. Hopefully there was a couple tips in there that could, uh, could make it easier for you or make you feel a little more confident. I'd like to thank Radar Skis, Eddie Roberts, for shipping me out this ski so fast. And uh, I'm really excited to get this thing on the water. Uh, my other sponsors, Taiga Boats, Performance Ski and Surf. Uh, all these guys make it possible for me to have the ability to bring videos like this to you and uh, to keep me on the water. So thank you guys very much and uh, hope to see you guys soon.